Hi mga kawaumat! In this video, we will discuss problems involving right triangles. But before we proceed to our discussion, please don't forget to like our video and subscribe na rin kayo. Let's start! So, in problem solving involving right triangles, you have to use or you can make use of these guidelines. First is you have to understand the problem. Second is develop a plan. Next is implement the plan and then look back. Pag sinabi natin look back, i-check natin. So, i-check natin. Let's do the checking before we um, box our final answer. Now, so in problem solving involving right triangles, you have to recall the concepts of the angle of elevation and depression. Wherein, pag sinabi natin elevation, ito yung from the, your eye level. When you are looking for, uh, when you are looking to the object, higher than you that is the angle of elevation but if you are looking to the object lower than you that is the angle of depression okay and then it also includes the six trigonometric ratios so this six trigonometric ratios will be used in problem solving so let's start to be safe, a 20 feet ladder should not incline more than 70 degree angle with the ground. So, ito po yung ating uh, figure. So, ito daw pong ladder natin para hindi daw pwede na yung angle na mapoform niyan, syempre ito ay uh, nakalin dun sa ating wall ng ating bahay. So, dapat daw yung angle na mapoform niya should not be more than 70 degrees. Okay? So, hindi siya pwedeng ilayo mo pa kasi... Uh, uh, hindi siya pwedeng ilapit mo pa kasi pag nilapit mo pa siya, mas tataas yung iyong angle. So, hindi po po pwede. So, ito lang po dapat. Now, suppose that the ladder is leaned against the house at this angle. So, gagamitin na natin yung ating 70 degree angle. Yun na po ang gagamitin natin because it should not be more than 70 degrees. So, we are asked to find these three. So, we have three questions here. First is, find the distance, which is your B, represented as your B. Ito po yung ating distance from the base of your house to the 20 foot of the ladder. So, ito po yung ating ladder. So, ito po yung B natin. So, since... Uh, ang hinahanap natin ay B, yung distance, based dito sa ating angle, ang given natin ay kanyang adjacent and hypotenuse. So, ano po ba yung uh, trigonometric ratio na uh, gagamitan natin ng adjacent at hypotenuse? That is cosine. Okay, so we will be using this ratio, cosine theta is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. So, now, what is your adjacent? That is your B. Since we are looking for the distance over 20. This is the, ano po yung ating, et, ano po yung ito, yung ladder natin. So, B over 20. So, that will become B is equal to, by cross multiplication, so cosine 70 degrees times 20. So, let us solve using this calculator. So, click cosine and then 70 degrees. So, you may have to close using the parenthesis times 20. So, that is 6.84. So, therefore, the distance, your B, is equal to 6.84. So, the foot of the ladder is about 6.84 feet from the base of the house to the ladder. Okay, so ito po yung ating distance. That is your B, 6.84 feet. Next, let us answer the second question. We are asked to find the height, which is represented as your A. So ito po yung ating A. That is your height. So we will find the height reached by the ladder. Gaano kataas yung ating ladder. Ito yung in inakyat niyan nung nag siya dun sa ating wall. So, since ang given natin from your angle, that is opposite, and then yung 20 feet, that is your hypotenuse. So, ano yung trigonometric ratio natin na gagamitan mo ng opposite and hypotenuse? That is sine. Okay, so sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, your sine theta, your angle is 70 degrees. 
your opposite which is a which is your which is the height a over 20 your hypotenuse is 20 by cross multiplication you will have a is equal to sine 70 degrees times 20 so let us solve so your a is equal to sine click sine and then 70 degrees close times 20 and that is 18.79 so um if uh mas safe kung i susulat natin ang ating sagot into two decimal places so that is 18.79 your a ibig sabihin the ladder reaches about 18.79 feet above the ground so simula dito sa ating ground ang na reach po ng ating ladder is 18.79 feet let us answer letter C. What is the measure of angle B? Now, how will you know that, uh, the, how will you know the measure or how will you find the measure of angle B? Now, since given yung ating angle na 70 degree angle and then this one is a 90 degree angle, paano natin nasabing 90 degree angle? Kasi, diba, this is uh, the wall. So, kapag meron tayong wall from the ground, that is uh, 90 degree angle. So, i-list natin yung ating given. Your angle A is 70 degrees. And then, your angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Now, in this uh, problem, for us to solve letter C, we can make use of the triangle sum theorem wherein the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is always 180. And ito po yun. So, for every triangle, ang sum po ng tatlong angles natin is always 180 degrees. Now, since given si angle A at si angle C natin, isa substitute lang po natin yun. That is 70 degrees plus angle B plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees and then do the transposition so that is angle b plus 90 plus 70 that is 160 is equal to 180 and then transpose so 180 minus 160 that is your angle b is equal to 20 degrees so pwede natin i-check 20 plus 70 that is 90 plus 90 180 next an airplane is flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. So, ito po yung ating airplane with the altitude of 30,000 feet. If the angle of depression, so ito po yung kanyang angle of depression, which is a uh, angle of depression of the airport. So, ito po yun. So, that is 10 degrees. Ang pinapahanap sa atin is how far must a radio signal travel from the airport to the plane in feet? So, ito po yung ating unit. Now, ang pinapahanap is ito po yung radio signal. So, ito po yung ating hahanapin. So, we will be representing our uh, airport as point A, your airplane as point B, and then ito po yung from the ground, this is point C. So, we have here the height which is 30,000 feet. And then, ito po, for us to find this side, this is considered your hypotenuse, kailangan meron tayong angle dyan. So, paano natin malalaman since andito yung given natin at ito ang pinapahanap, ibig sabihin, itong triangle ang gagamitin natin. Now, kailangan meron tayong angle. So, where is our angle? So, since ito po, itong angle na to, at ito ay alternate interior angle sila. Therefore, they are congruent. So, 10 degrees din po ito. Okay? So, now, from your angle, ang given po natin ay opposite and hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse is represented as your, uh, as the radio signal. Okay? Ito yung hinahanap natin, yung radio signal. That is your hypotenuse. So, opposite and then your hypotenuse. So, ano pong trigonometric ratio? Yung opposite over hypotenuse. That is 
sin. Okay, so sin theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Let us substitute our given. So your sin theta, you, which is your angle, that is 10 degrees. And then is equal to 30,000 opposite over hypotenuse, which is your h. Okay, ito po yun. Your h is represented as your radio signal. Okay, so cross multiplication, you have your hypotenuse, h is equal to 30,000 over sine 10 degrees. So, hahanapin po natin siya. So, 30,000 divided by sine 10 degrees. So, and then don't forget to close. That is... 172,763.11 So, yun po yung ating nakuha. So, that is 172,763.11 feet. Ano po ito? Ito po yung ating radio signal. Okay. So, ang tanong, how far must a radio signal travel from the airport to the plane in feet? And that is... 172,763.11 feet. Next. From a lighthouse 250 feet above sea level, a ship is spotted with an angle of depression of 8 degrees. How far is the ship from the lighthouse? So, ang, ito po yung ating lighthouse. So, suppose that uh, the lighthouse is 250 feet above the sea level kung nasan yung ating observer. So, let's say 250 feet yung ano niya, yung um, height dito. So, now, ang angle of depression po natin is 8 degrees. Okay? Dun sa ship. Now, ang pinapahanap sa atin is the distance from the lighthouse dun sa Ship. So, paano po natin gagawin? So, that is represented as D. So, i-represent natin siya as D. Paano natin magagawa o masusolve iyon kung ang given natin is the uh, height only, ito po yung ating height, e eh, wala tayong angle dito. So, we can make use of the given angle. So, since ito po ay congruent dito since they are what? Alternate interior angles. So, 8 degrees ito, we can now make use of opposite over adjacent. And that is, what is opposite over adjacent? That is tangent. So, your tangent theta will become 8 degrees. So, that is 8 degrees is equal to the opposite is 250 over adjacent which is D. So, we will represent the distance as D. So, by cross multiplication, that is D is equal to 250 over tangent 8 degrees. So, let us solve. So, 250 divided by tangent 8 degrees. So, don't forget to close. Equals. So, we have 1778.84. So, ang hinahanap po natin is the distance. So, that is 1,778.84 feet. So, that is the distance of the ship from the lighthouse. Next. Jaline is flying a kite whose string makes a 70 degree angle. Ito po si Jaline. Ayan po yung ating kid. And then, ito po yung kanyang kite na kung saan nagpapalipad siya na nagpo-form po ng 70 degree angle. Okay, 70 degree angle with the ground. So, the kite string is 65 meters long. Ito po yung string niya. How far is the kite from the ground? So, ang na-form po nung kite na angle is 70 degrees with the ground. The length of the string is 65 meters ang pinapahanap sa atin is the height of the kite from the ground. So, we need to get the measure or the length of the kite from the ground. So, ang given natin since ito po yung ating angle, so that is opposite over hypotenuse. And that is, ang gagamitin natin is sine theta. Kaya dapat alam natin yung mga trigonometric ratios kung ano po ang gagamitin natin based dun sa ating 
given at sa ating figure. So, we have opposite over hypotenuse. Your sine theta is, is 70 degrees. Your opposite is x, which is ito po yung pinapahanap sa atin. Ito yung unknown. And then, your hypotenuse, which is given, that is 65. So, by cross multiplication, we will have x is equal to sine 70 degrees times 65. So, let us solve sine 70 degrees times 65. And that is 61.08 meters. So, in meters po tayo since meters po yung ginamit dito. So, your dis the distance, ito po, yung layo po nung kite dun sa ground is 61.08 meters. Next, Angel wants to calculate the height of a tree in her garden. So, she stands 20 meters away from the foot of the tree. Ito po si Angel. Ang distance niya dun sa foot o yung pinaka-base ng tree is 20 meters. So, using a clinometer, she measures the angle of elevation of the top of the tree which is 52 degrees. So, ang distance niya dun sa base ng tree is 20 meters and then nung sinukat niya yung top of the tree yung angle of elevation niya is 52 degrees now ang tinatanong o ang unknown ang pinapahanap sa atin is the height of the tree or how tall is the tree so that is the height okay so since ito po yung angle natin at ang given natin ay opposite and then adjacent so ano po yung ratio natin trigonometric ratio na Opposite over adjacent, that is tangent. So, your tangent theta is 52 degrees is equal to your opposite which is represented as h. Hindi po hypotenuse ha, kasi h po dahil tall. How tall? So, height ang pinapahanap sa atin. So, nirepresent natin siya as h. So, the height which is the opposite over your adjacent is 20. So, that is so our height is equal to tangent 52 degrees times 20. So, let us solve. We have tangent 52 degrees times 20. And that is equal to 25 point round off natin ito kasi um, 8 ito. So, 25 point 60 meters. Okay? So, therefore, yung height po nito, yung height po ng ating tree, ang taas niya is 25.60 meters. Test yourself. Okay, let us answer. So, you again, ha, if you want more time, you may pause the video so you can answer um, Okay, let us check. So, we have for number 1, 4.76 kilometers. And then, for number 2, we have two questions here. How far is P from Q? That is 134.56 feet. And then, how far is S from Q? That is 90.04 feet. So, I hope you got 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.